Welcome to this section on magnetic flux control. First, what is magnetic flux control? In this course, magnetic flux control is a generic term for modification of induction coil magnetic flux by means of installation of magnetic templates or magnetic flux controllers. Magnetic flux control due to application of non-magnetic bodies or Faraday rings, also known as flux robbers, is not considered here. Magnetic controllers may significantly change magnetic field pattern and coil parameters. Their application must be considered as part of the whole induction system design. Because controllers play different roles, like magnetic flux concentration, shielding, and distribution, they are also called concentrators, cores, or shields, depending on application. In many cases, controllers fulfill several functions simultaneously. Magnetodielectric Fluxtrol Materials Properties depend on magnetic particle type and size, binder type, and manufacturing technology. Magnetic permeability may be in a wide range from several units to more than a hundred. They can work in 3D magnetic fields. They can work in the whole frequency range of induction heating applications. Fluxtrol and Ferratron MD materials have excellent machinability. Due to favorable mechanical properties, may be used as structural components of induction coil assembly. Easy to apply and modify in field conditions. May be custom designed to meet specific requirements. Laminations. Very high permeability thousands in weak fields. High temperature resistance, which depends mainly of electrical insulation of sheets. High saturation flux density, 1.8 T. However, their application is limited to relatively low frequency, below 30 kHz. It is more difficult to provide intensive cooling. Application is very laborious, especially for complex coil geometry. It is difficult to machine them. They demonstrate poor performance in 3D fields and rusting and expansion or deformation when overheated. Ferrites, high permeability in weak fields, up to tens of thousands can work at high frequencies. Low losses in selected grades. However, they have low saturation flux density, 0.3 to 0.4 T. Low Curie temperature, approximately 250 degrees Celsius, with magnetic properties reduction starting at 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. Poor thermal conductivity. Very poor mechanical properties. High hardness, brittle, and non-machinable with conventional tools. Sensitive to mechanical impacts and thermal shocks. And inconsistent dimensions, large tolerances, from manufacturer. General guidelines for selecting the right type of concentrator material. Determine requirements and conditions for a given application based on induction coil geometry. Magnetic properties of material. Frequency, power, and duty cycle. Lifetime of inductor. Time to get material. Time to manufacture coil. Cost of materials. Cost of material application. And ability to reproduce coil easily. 
Conclusions Magnetic flux control is an important part of optimal design of induction coils. Their application must be considered at the stage of induction system development. Magnetic controllers may play different role, power proofing, concentration, current reduction, shielding, etc., depending on application. Controllers can fulfill several functions simultaneously in one induction system. Application of magnetic controllers reduces coil current and reactive power, resulting in better performance of power supply. In some cases, smaller and less expensive power supply may be used. Computer simulation and practical experience show that permeability increase above 60 to 100 does not improve controller performance. Magnetic controllers may be made of magnetodielectric materials, Fluxtrol soft magnetic composites, thin steel sheets, laminations, or magnetically soft ferrites. Laminations may not be used at high frequency due to big losses and poor performance in 3D magnetic field. Ferrites have low saturation flux density, low curie point, poor thermal and mechanical characteristics. Magnetodielectric materials can provide a combination of magnetic, electrical, thermal, and mechanical properties favorable for induction heating applications. This concludes this section. Thank you for viewing Basics of Magnetic Flux Control in Induction Systems.